Okay, hello again, Pixel Pushers. It's Sadiq Hussain here on another summer's day uh, at Wimbledon. And uh, we're now going to be looking at the next uh, tool in our tool set uh, very briefly, and that is the, um, uh, uh, the lasso tool. Now, of course, the lasso tool is part of a number of tools uh, all, clunk, uh, all um, uh, grouped together the rectangular marquee tool, the elliptical tool, the column and the row. So that's really when you want to draw a very specific shape and select that. That's useful for certain instances. But really, it's the um, what we want to look at is the uh, lasso tool. Now, the lasso tool is a, um, a staple tool in all editing software. And the thing to remember here in Affinity is that you have got the three types of lasso tool all within the one tool so once you've selected lasso tool you've got the context sensitive toolbar at the top again that's relevant to that tool and it's these three sections you've got so you've got freehand lasso you've got polygonal or straight lines so great for um uh, buildings and um, uh, sort of not nature objects certainly not people uh, but uh, but straight lined uh, shapes and things and the really useful one, which is the magnetic lasso, that's where it latches on to an edge of an object. We'll do that with this gentleman's hat here. Um, and uh, But let's just show you the freehand lasso. Now, the freehand lasso tool really is when you want to loosely trace round or draw round an object without too concern about latching onto the edge of it because you might want to do something different with it. So that's a freehand lasso, so you're just drawing it loosely. And of course you can add and subtract to that if you want to. Uh, you can feather it here at this stage, but I actually think it's better to feather it when you click on refine. So now that we've clicked on refine, this edge here, the way we've selected it, if you want that smooth gradation of the selection, you can actually feather it at this stage if I just put it up to 100 pixels you can see that's feathered it and you might think well 100 is not enough for this image because of the resolution of it but in fact you can type in any number you like there so if I double it to 200 if I double it to 200 try again so now it's feathered it across 200 pixels that's much better feathering. You can do it here rather than doing it initially. Uh, you've got all these other refine options about specifying the background or the foreground like we've done when we looked at the uh, selection brush tool. So that's all exactly the same. So go back and look at that video if you want to um, revisit those parameters. But really, this feathering option is great for if you want to do something like this. So let me just put this on a new layer. As soon as we click apply so up the top here look there's the original layer so this is on a new layer so if I go to the move tool uh, I can move that about and resize it and um, you know do whatever adjustments I want to that but let's just say I want to put that on a neutral background and a quick way to just to demonstrate that would be if I go to a uh, layer a uh, new fill layer here and fill it with a color not white, but let's just say green, dark green, let's say uh, racing green, Wimbledon green, if you like. Um, and that's just a neutral color. And if I just take that layer and put it in between these two layers. So now that cutout that we've just done using the freehand lasso is sitting on top of that. And this is where that feathering really comes into, into its own. Okay, so you can make a montage or a collage with a number of cutouts uh, on a given background. If you don't like this particular background, you can go back and say, well, actually, it might be better on a nice neutral grey, something like like that. And uh, and that's easily done because you're doing it on the on the layer itself rather than on the new document. Okay, so that's the freehand lasso. It's great for... Uh, random shapes uh, where you're not worried about selecting something specific okay let me just rewind that history go back to the original image 
and we go to the lasso tool again and this time we just quickly demonstrate the polygonal now the polygonal is not going to work well on here because what we're looking at is it when you click the mouse it just draws a straight line you can see that and of course if you draw enough straight lines in small increments it will be pretty accurate but it's far better to use the next tool which is the uh, magnetic lasso for any organic or round or natural shapes but I'll just show you how this works this would work well on a shape or on a building or on a window anything that's particularly um, angular but I'm just going to do this loosely just to show you what it would do if you were to use it so each time I want to put a node you just click the mouse button and it will do that of course when you click on the joining it up it's all in straight lines and again you can do refine and do all what you want to do and and select it put it on a new layer and so on okay so we're not going to do that because this image or this subject doesn't lend itself to that but the next one we're